Welcome everyone to another video. This is Ian Grammer here from Team Grammar Racing. Today, we'll be looking inside the Alpha 96 and going through all the menus and showing you how to set them up. So let's get started. So first, we'll be turning on the Alpha. This is the bottom right button. So the system will boot up and soon we'll be greeted with the main screen. So here we have the main hub. We have six main um, hub identifications and these all lead into smaller settings that you can change. So first we'll start with data, we have your track configuration, then we have setup, then we have your race display setup, USB and Bluetooth, and then lastly to turn off your Alfano. So first we'll be heading into data. We don't have any data at the moment as we, this is a brand new unit, but later on we'll be looking into how to analyze your data on the Alfano and then how to export it onto off camera data and how to use that to get the most out of your lap time. So now we'll go ahead into the tracks. So the three modes here, automatic, professional, and magnetic classic. Automatic will use the Alfano's GPS system to automatically locate the nearest track to where it is and to automatically start up and build your track. If there's no track that it identifies, your Alfano will automatically GPS locate and create a track for you. Professional is very similar to automatic. We, but professional, you're able to go into greater detail of selecting your track where you are and going to more detail of the setup. Lastly, magnetic. This is going to be for your magnetic or if you have an infrared sensor. And this is going to be just that without using a GPS. So we'll head out of here. And now we'll go into the main settings. So here we have another hub. So now we'll go into the first one. This is brightness. So brightness, you're going to be able to change basically your race display. So you have your backlight, if you want to auto or off, or if you want it manual or off in general. The Alfano does have a built-in um, light sensor, which will automatically turn it on if it senses the light is low. Next, we have the colour. The Alfano has a large range of colours, going from green, blue, red, white, orange, purple, and then back to green. Then you can decide your power. So this will affect the battery life, so if you want it on low, strong, or normal, and then lastly the LED power, you can decide from low, strong, or normal. So that's done, we'll be heading into the next menu. So the next menu is your settings. So we'll click into this, and now we have another menu. So first is standby. So standby is going to allow the Alfano to go into a, a, a mode where it's not using as much power and it's just sitting there, ready for you to use. Once you hit the maximum standby time of 300 seconds, your Alfano will automatically turn off, saving you battery life. Next, we have transmission. So this is to decide if you either have a direct drive or if your gears and you select the amount of gears. For us, we have a Rotax 125, so we'll be having it on direct clutch. So now we'll exit out of here, and this is speed sensor. This is if you have an additional sensor, and this will allow you to determine the speed of your wheels. RPM, this is all up to your engine, and you decide your maximum RPM, and then the frequency of it. Then you have your units. This is where you decide, depending on if you're imperial or metric. We have the metric, so we have kilometers, millimeters, and Celsius. You can all change these back and forth. Lastly, we have your format, format of time zones. This is you how you want your format of your hours and day, month and year to be, your exact date, and then your time. So for us, it's 6.02. Lastly is your system information and factory reset. So this will tell you everything about your Alfano, its serial number, its firmware, and if for any reason you want to reset it back to factory conditions. So that's it for this um, section. And now we'll get into the next one, configuring your viewing. So for this is screen contrast. So this you can um, decide the contrast of your display. So you can go all the way from I think 20% all the way up to 100. We'll leave out that 40. So exit over here. Now this is peak value. So for the Alfano, when you're in race mode, you're able to decide if you want the Alfano does display to freeze once it hits a peak value. So for that time, we have it set on frozen. You can change this to be on a range from zero to nine or frozen. We'll keep ours at frozen. For RPM, speed and temperature, 
you can decide from these to be 0 to 5 seconds. So let's just say you're on the straight and you hit your max RPM. If you have it set to 5, the Alfano will freeze at that max RPM for 5 seconds to allow you to view it much easily. So we'll exit out of here, and now we have after the lap. So once you finish racing, your Alfano will go into um, analyzing of the laps. So this will allow you to go through each lap with a bit of detail, detail and summarize all the information. You can have this on activated or not, and how long you want to activate it activated for. So for 10 seconds, otherwise it will turn off. So now we have the six LEDs. So our Alfano has multiple LEDs at the top, which are all RGB, which means you can change them to various colors. So you can change the channel, so you can have it at RPM, best lap, disabled, or if you want it to be your um, temperature for exhaust, and back to RPM. For these, you can change the, um, the color of it. So you have yellow, purple, green, blue, red, white, and then back to yellow. You can do this for all six. And then for us, you can change the RPM value that you want them to turn up on. So we'll go through there, and that's everything for them. Next, your Alfano has two other LEDs, one on the left and one on the right. These are your temperature LEDs. So you, for this, you set up the max temperature you want it for, and then your minimum. And this is the same for the right-hand side. So that's everything for configuring your viewing. Next, you have your driver name. So here, we have Andrew Grimer, which is me, and then you can configure the name. So when you um, want to send your data off, you know exactly whose driver that is. So now, we'll head out of there, since we'll have that saved, and we'll go into the counters. So Alfano has four time counters built in, so you're able to decide how long your driver's been in there, or most importantly, your engine, how long that's been using. And then lastly, you have one for distance. This is so you know how many um, kilometers your cart's done, and etc. So we'll get out of there. Next is um, the languages. This is pretty self-explanatory. You have your English and Italian. I won't try and say them, but yeah. And we'll go back to English. Next, this is going to be your track selection. So your Alfano has over 2,000 tracks built in. If you want, you can create your own using your GPS if it's not already in here. For us, we'll head in. We're from Australia, so we'll head to the Australian thing. And you're able to look at the pre-built tracks, all with GPS location, all throughout, knowing the exact rotation and everything, so you know what your track looks like before you go on. So for Australia, we have only 94 tracks built in, which is more than enough. And this is, so if you have it in automatically mode, it'll know exactly where these tracks are, and it'll select one of them for you. Lastly, is your racing in memory. So this is if you want to erase everything in Alfano and clear it back to how it was originally. So now that's finished, we'll head into the next menu. This is going to be displaying and configuring your race display. So the Alfano has a brand new feature built in that no other display has, where you can make the display set exactly to how you want it. So for us, we've created one already, and then you're able to display exactly where you want it, and how you want it, and what you want on there. So for us, we have our lap time, our best lap sector, our best lap, our RPM, lap number, and our water temp temp temperature. We'll, I'll show you how to create one, and we'll head, we'll head out, and um, so we'll go down here and we'll create our own. So first, you want to press OK to start, and this is where you can select what you want. So we'll select lap time, then you're going to select exactly where you want it, so we'll have it in the center. Then we can select the side. Then we're gonna. You can select how big it is. So for us, we'll have it nice and big. Then you can select the contrast if you want to get rid of it, or you want to call it. Then this button here will allow you to see an actual race display. So there you have it there. Next, we'll add something small. So I will add our engine RPM. So for this, we'll add this to the top right. And then lastly, we'll add in, we'll add in our water temp sensor. So for this, 
Let it right at the top. And then so this will then allow you. So then we're gonna go through here, and that's what it's gonna look like in actual race mode. You have many large amounts of customization that you can choose from. So we'll just remove that, but then there we go. So that's that. So next we have the middle button, and this is gonna be your Bluetooth and USB. This is gonna activate your Bluetooth. So you can able to send it off to example off camera data and then you'll send over all the information so then you can analyze it further in more detail. So we'll be turning it off. And there we go, that's your Alfano. So you'll have your GPS location there once we're inside. So unfortunately we don't have any. But yeah, so you have your name and everything there. So that's all the settings for your Alfano. I really hope you learned something from this video. If you didn't, feel free to leave a comment below. We'll try and help as best as I can. Um, and that's it. So that's basically been our final setup guide. Later on, we're going to be um, showing you how to go through your data on your Alfano and put it on off-camera off data to get the most out of your um, Alfano. And we'll also be showing you features that you can set up on the car. I really hope you liked the video. Feel free to smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos of Team Guy Racing, all about the Alfano. And yeah, I'm Andrew Grimer from Tangara Racing, and see you next time. Bye!